Welcome to another amazing episode of Adventures in Entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Jared, and this is Captain Clay, and we're here to help you navigate the tricky waters of entrepreneurship. And today, we are going to be talking about Hit the Ground Running by Jason Jennings. And we're going to jump right in here, Clay. We're going to talk about one of these first chapters here where it talks about uh, don't be deceived. You're going to reap what you, ship, what you sow. Yeah. Well, um, basically, this book is phenomenal because it's a case study of some of the top brands in the country and the top successful CEOs. You have the, the CEO of Smuckers is interviewed in there and, and just big brands everyone would know. Uh, the Purina dog food people, you know. I know that's one of my favorite products. But uh, um, he talks about you're going to reap what you sow. And, and, and I just want to encourage you if you're watching this today and as you're, if you're thinking about the context of you, um, there was a gentleman who you know about who left our company and, and uh, started to compete with us and did some really shady stuff. And we found out yesterday that he got fired from his new place. Ooh, bad deal. Yeah! Woo! So it's a deal <laughs> where, um, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, getting all worked up and trying to get payback and, and stuff because, you know, I always have to encourage myself with that. And I know with this specific individual, you'd encourage me with that. But uh, it's a deal where um, God's uh, vengeance always works out. And this mm -hmm. guy talks about in a non-biblical sense, but in, a bi in, a, in just a, a pragmatic business sense, he's like, if you don't exceed the expectations of your customers, they're not going to come back. If you don't treat your employees fairly, they're going to come back. And he talks with the CEOs that they've studied that made um, short-term sacrifices by laying people off to maximize profits. Always their companies fell apart in the end. Or companies that cut quality out. Um, there's a few major restaurant chains that were just discovered that they were using really, really crazy practices to produce a hamburger more cheaply. You know, everything from steroids to replacing meat with uh, actually parts of the cow's head oh in the hamburger, those kind of rendered cow parts, um, those kinds of things are, uh, they're going to come back. You're going to reap what you sow. And, and it's just really, really important, I would ask you to think about this in your, I call it the wheel of wealth, but in your eight areas of your business, think about it today. In your area of your marketing, you're going to reap what you sow. So. Is your marketing looking good? I mean, because if it is looking good and it's real and it has been meaning, you're going to reap what you sow. In terms of your sales, are you promising things you can deliver or are you promising things you can't deliver? You're going to reap what you sow. Customer service, are you treating people like they're an annoyance or do you treat people um, like you really value their dollars and their investment in, in your business? Um, you know, as far as the, the, the actual delivery of the product, again, you're, you're, you're going to reap what you sow. Does your product, is, is it great? Is your service great? Does it exceed their expectations or is it not that great? In terms of employing people, your HR, you're going to reap what you sow. Are you training people well? Are you investing them? Do you let them know you care? Are you, are you a person who um, operates with a little bit of grace there with employees? Do you work with them? Because if not, you're going to reap what you sow. And in all these areas, I just encourage you to think about it. In your accounting, are you being shady with the numbers or are you being truthful with the numbers? Because you're going to reap what you sow. Uh, and I just want to encourage you to, I know it seems like a deep concept, but I just want to ask you, ask you rhetorically, if you're watching this today, think about your business and the core areas, and are you sowing seeds that you want to reap a harvest from later? And I guess that's the core question. It's really quite simple. You sow corn, you get corn. You sow, sow beans, you get beans. It's really simple. If you uh, contractors out there today have a pretty bad name, and if you're a contractor out there, I hope, uh, I hope you're not like this. But um, I actually heard a story last week of a contractor that showed up and just did like absolute bottom line, didn't really care. And the stuff they did started falling apart almost immediately. Oh, man. And then when confronted on it, he, his response was, well, your boss can hire me to come back out and fix it. I have to tell you this. This is a true story. This is a little Thanksgiving story to kind of end on, I think. Uh, a buddy of mine had family coming in for Thanksgiving and uh, hired a contractor, same sort of deal. And uh, the contractor told me he'd be done two weeks previous to Thanksgiving. Giving him two full weeks, you know, to get the turkey and make a plan and everything. The night before Thanksgiving, the guy still isn't done. And he says, well, it's, before, it's the night before Thanksgiving, man. I, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. It's, it's, you know, I, I can't work on Thanksgiving. And so my buddy said, well, I'm not paying you at all unless you come and do it right now. I don't care if it's Thanksgiving. You're going to have to come do it on Thanksgiving night or the day of, I'm not going to not have a meal. You're going to be here. And this guy came in and did the work begrudgingly. And what's hilarious about it is that he'll never get a referral. Mm -hmm. He got paid, but he will reap what he sowed. 
not only is he not going to get a referral, but that guy's going to tell people like he told you to don't ever use this guy. Therefore, yeah. this guy will not be in business for much longer. Or we'll have to do what a lot of these shady guys do and pick up and leave state. So you're going to reap what you sow. Just do the right thing the first time and, whoa, your business is going to grow. It's crazy. <laughs> like 30 seconds send up. What do you have for us? I just want to encourage you to think about reap what you sow or the law of cause and effect. I know it seems complicated sometimes in business. You're like, why does this happen? It's for reaping what we sow. We're, we're you know, getting the effect of what we caused. I mean, just, just think about your business today. Make sure you're making good decisions today. Make sure you're sowing the right kind of seeds because you are going to reap a harvest. It does, take a it does take time to reap a harvest, though. It's not like you sow seeds in marketing and then just instantly you get business returns. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say with like the speaking stuff I've done, I've been working on that for three or four years. I've been you know building that up and every year it grows and grows and grows, but it, it takes time. And so I just want to encourage you, sow the seeds, be patient, because if you sow the right kind of seeds, they take a while to mature, but the tree will eventually become big and glorious and you'll like it. There you have it. We'll see you next time. Yeah! <laughs>